Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here then hi, welcome. And if you're coming back then thank you, I'm so grateful. Today's video I am so excited to do. I'm honestly, ever since starting my channel, I've always thought this is the video that I can't wait to do. And it's the one I watched through all of my pregnancies and it just helped me so much. So, without keeping you waiting any longer, <laughs> um, this video is all about newborn products that I highly recommend and ones that we actually used. So if you are specifically a first time mum, it can get really overwhelming with all the things that you want to buy and let's be honest, you do buy them all. But of those, what do you actually use the most? So I'm here, Ren is now nine months old. So I feel like I can really give you an honest opinion on what we used, both with Isla, of course, and Ren. So let's get straight into it. So before I show you our first product, I do want to say this video is very much not the obvious thing. So of course, all the things that you really need, the essentials that you are always going to use, COP for example, baby monitor, bottles, I'm not including them in this video purely because you know that you need them. These are more things that you're maybe unsure of or maybe haven't heard of yet. And I just really want to bring them to you because yeah, it's maybe something that you didn't know about or we're kind of swaying whether to buy or not. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is, I've just said that and it's probably one of the most important things, things that everyone will buy, but it is our nappy caddy. So I honestly tell everyone about this and for multiple reasons, but number one is that you can keep it downstairs. And for us, this was just a godsend. It has everything that you need without having to come up and down the stairs. Now, I used this so much more with Ren because I had a C-section. So going up and down the stairs was a no for me. Um, and I really enjoyed just having this all to hand in the living room. I'm not going to talk about it too much because it is something that you probably already have on your list, but nappies, muslins, na uh, nappy creams, bags, wipes, change of clothes, vests, um, more muslins. I've got so many in here. I actually have a little teether now because I've adapted this to obviously Ren's now age. And yeah, it's just been an absolute godsend. The more the better, to be honest. So we had this one downstairs. I know people have them in different rooms upstairs. We don't have a huge house. So I was able to just go in and out the nursery and get what I needed when I was upstairs. But yeah, this is my favorite thing ever. We picked this up in TK Maxx and I think it was about 12 pounds. Um, but I have done multiple videos both on my Instagram and TikTok of things that I keep in here, um, which I will link here for you to see. So number two is our drawer dividers. Um, now again, this is something that maybe some people have, other people haven't, but it helped me so much. And here's why. So we got so many gifts, as you do when you have a baby, and it's nice to see what things that you need more of. So more, more so in the early days when you are given all these gifts and you have maybe loads of zero to three clothes or newborn clothes, and you don't actually know what you need next. So Three months is not a long time, and especially when you're a mum, it flies by. So it really helped me to see what I needed more of, whether it was three to six or the six to nine months clothes. And if anyone was asking, then I could tell them, this is the area that I don't have a lot of. And it really helped me just see everything that I had, more so with vests and sleep suits. Another good reason is for everything to hand. So we had it under our changing table, which was our... I think you say hemness, I'm not sure if that is the right word for it, but from Ikea, our drawer unit, I will put a video here so you can see it. But in, in our drawers, dividers in the top, we had all of our nappies, wipes, muslins, dummies, nappy cream, everything to hand so that I was literally just opening the drawer and it was all there. Um, it was honestly a godsend in both of my early days after giving birth. It just meant that I wasn't moving away or feeling stressed out everything was to hand and they were the best things ever so our drawer dividers were also from ikea i think they were six pound and you got like three 
three compartments each. I can't really remember. I will try and link them for you, but they were, yes, my must have. I still use them now, even for Isla's room, and she is three. They are the best things ever, and they just keep you organised. Next on my list is these Munchkin steriliser bags. So, obviously, I'm assuming most people will have a sterilising machine or a microwave machine. Um, there's various options. However, these were a godsend for when we went on trips away. So, whether it was just a night away or maybe a week away in a log cabin, these were just so good to have. It meant we didn't have to take our big sterilising unit, and they were... I can't even remember how much they were, I will link them, but I picked them up in Tesco and they only take three minutes in the microwave so sometimes if you're just running a bit crazy and there's no bottle sterilised you can quickly wash one and fire it in here and your bottle is done within three minutes instead of having to load up all your steriliser as well so they are really good for that as well but just to have, it's something that I never really thought of um, when I was trying to get everything organised and when we did go away you do think what am I going to have to take so these are so good and look they fold away I keep these in my cupboards downstairs and then they're easy to pick up when we are going away so next up keeping in the theme with munchkin they actually gifted me this on instagram and it's one of the things I would never have bought definitely never bought it with Isla and I probably wouldn't have bought it with Ren either but oh my goodness it has honestly helped me so much so it's called the Munchkin 59S and it's a portable little sanitizer for dummies and anything small so we've only really used it for our dummies but I've got it here now it is well used so please excuse the little mess of it um but this little strap here it hangs over my pram and I just keep it there all the time because let me tell you, Ren has thrown his dummy out the pram, I don't know how many times. Now, I'll be honest, I'm a second time mum and I do usually just put the dummy in my mouth and give it back to him. But this has totally changed my life because you just pop it in, I'm going to show you. You literally just pop it in here, close it over and hit this little button. Now, I'm hoping that picks it up, but there's a little UV light in there and it takes 59 seconds and it's sterilised and you can just hand it straight back to them so it's yeah it's been so so good and I do highly highly recommend it I'm not just saying that because it is gifted I, I wouldn't have really known about it if if we hadn't had it gifted to us but now I tell so many mums to be about it because it's just great and it just saves you worrying about any bacteria or little bugs so for my next product I actually swithered on this one because everyone has or would have a Moses basket and I have used a Moses basket both for Isla and for Rain and I kept it in the living room and it was a godsend so I don't want to go into that because I'm sure you all have that anyway. However we actually I really wanted one of the Moses baskets and um, changing tables and I'm going to put my video here so you can see it and um, I'll just put a short clip because you can watch the full one on my Instagram but I done a little DIY with a Moses basket that I picked up on Facebook and I got it for I think five pounds um, and I made it into a little changing table however they do go for quite a bit more than that and I think some of them are about 40 or 50 pounds and they're very aesthetically pleasing and I did love it however it didn't last very long because if you think of a Moses basket your little one has outgrown that usually about four or five months which isn't a long time so it leads me into my next product that I want to show you, which is this Baby Dam changing mat. Now, I like to be honest and upfront, this was also gifted to us through Instagram. However, it's changed my mind on what I would potentially recommend for people to buy um, because the sides on it. So we've had a few different changing mats and some of them are quite they're not as thick as this whatsoever um now this has been great Ren is now nine months and we use this every day it sits on top of his changing table and i like the high sides on it it just makes me feel so much more comfortable that he is not going to roll i'm always there anyway but especially on the floor as well after bath it just keeps them nice and snug and they feel really safe so whilst i did enjoy having my diy moses basket changing mat this has lasted me a lot longer so if i was going to recommend anything it would be one of these unless you're like me and you're quite creative and you're happy to spend two and a half hours <laughs> doing a moses basket diy um yes i did want to just show you this one it's very good i highly recommend it and we have used their products before 
Which leads me into my next one, which is the Baby Dam Bath Barrier. So I'm going to put another video here for you to see. Um, this was something, again, I hadn't even heard of. They reached out to me on Instagram and I thought I would definitely try it with the cost of living. And also, when little ones are so little, they're in the bath for 10 minutes maximum. And it's such a shame to waste all that water for a 10 minute bath. So this little barrier just shuts it off and it makes a nice little snug bath for them. And you use a fraction of the water that you would have used filling up a full bath. So I do have highly highly recommend this as well we used it so much a bit different for us now because Isla baths with rain so I feel like you are filling up the bathtub for them both anyway however in the newborn days this was a must-have and we used it every day and it honestly saved us so much water so I highly recommend that one as well now for my next must-have it is my baby carrier so you get lots of different styles of baby carriers currently we are using one with straps on it which is great and I do highly recommend however for the newborn stage which this video is all about I cannot recommend one like this a sling um, enough it's so so good and you feel so snug now it does take a lot of confidence and a lot of getting used to because this carrier it doesn't feel like it's so secure but trust me it is and it is the best thing that I've ever had because I'm from Scotland, we are very, very lucky that we get a baby box gifted to us from our government and we get all of this for free, which is honestly amazing. However, <clears throat> because it is from the baby box and because it is Scotland, it's something that you can't buy online. So I have had a look and the ones that I can see with the most kind of highly recommended are the free rider ones, which I'll link up here. They are about 40 to 50 pounds depending on which design that you go for however there are also ones on instagram which again i will link that you can pick up for about 20 pounds i have only ever used the baby box one um so i can't personally comment on any of these two however this style is a must have and i'm going to show you a video of me wearing it here so you can see how snug rain is into me and i feel so secure i just can get on with so many tasks and he's nice and snug in me and he's fast asleep and you can also have that nice skin to skin contact and i just love it it's something that you don't get a lot of because you can only really have them in this when they are teeny tiny but it's just something that I so highly recommend that you get. All the other carriers you can use so long. I mean, he's nine months now and we are using our front one. We are still using the front one. She's probably be in my back now, but I just love him being so close. Um, but yeah, you get to use that so much. But this little sling, I feel like you can only really use that when they're small. And it's the one thing that I miss the most. So this is mine. Now, I'm going to actually now do a video on how to wear it. Because again, if you are a first time mum, it's really important that you do this properly and safely um, and hopefully it'll just help you with your confidence. So next on my list is a little nursing pillow. Um, now again this one I feel like I have to explain the reasons why because there's so many uses for this. Number one is that when you first come out of hospital, um, especially if you have had a natural birth, then it's a great little donut cushion for you to sit on um, and it just totally supports you and just makes you feel a lot more comfortable when you're sitting down. Second of all, newborn babies are quite heavy you know and especially when you're in your arms all day long, this has been a godsend for just popping round your waist like that and your little one can just sit there whilst you're on the couch watching tv or just cradling them it just takes the weight off and helps you have this free arm as well and um, so we use that loads for that also i was breastfeeding at the beginning so again a very good kind of support for when you're breastfeeding and then finally i use it now for when <laughs> for when i'm through the nursery in the middle of the night and i just need to relax i can put this behind my head have rain on me whilst i'm rocking him and just have my neck supported so this has many uses but it's one again i highly recommend a lot of people think i'll maybe just use a cushion but it has so many different 
um, uses and it's just been it's been fab for us now this one I actually picked up in TK Maxx and it was in the sale for £6 which I think is really fab um, you do get different style ones this is a cushion um, kind of insert in it you get ones that are like little bean bags um, there's so many if you just have a look online um, but you can also pick them up on eBay and Amazon and things quite cheap as well whatever you do you must have one of these now I do just want to say at this point as well um, although I did say I didn't want to do a video on things that you will most likely have bought anyway I want to just make a comment on the Sleepyhead Deluxe because I chose not to get this with Isla I thought it was something that would just I would use for a matter of weeks and then it was kind of a waste of money they are quite pricey However, I did pick up one second hand. Um, I got this on eBay and I actually picked it up for £50. Now, the retail price is £130. I went for the grand. Um, and yes, I highly recommend this. So, And also, I do recommend to buy it second hand because you can actually pull everything apart and put it in the washing machine. Um, and you can also buy new covers for them, which you can pick up much cheaper. So the one I bought came with a, a separate cover it was brand new still in the box so I just used that and I washed it um, several times anyway um, but it was a godsend and I wouldn't recommend paying full price for them because I do think you can get alternative ones that are a bit cheaper um, however if you are like me and happy to buy it second hand then it's an absolute must now the reason being is that although we had the Moses basket downstairs if I was sitting on the couch I could have him next to me in the sleepyhead deluxe if we were traveling again on a little log cabin break then I was able to just take that with me and I could sleep on the bed with us albeit out with out on the covers but any sleepy head deluxe next to us it meant when we were in the living room we could have them next to us and we didn't have to take the Moses basket so there were so many reasons why I do recommend having it and um, for us it worked well he slept really well in it and he felt nice and snug doesn't work for everyone so I think it's something worth trying but that's another reason why I think it's good to buy it second hand if it doesn't work out then you can just sell it on again and you haven't lost a lot of money so I just wanted to add that in because I do recommend it and it worked great for us and I do wish we had it with Isla now I only have a few more products to show you um, number one is this dummy clip um, this is an absolute must have again um, now the reason for this is the little one just throws her dummy out all the time and especially when I'm rocking around to sleep he just has this tendency to spit his dummy out and honestly it sounds ridiculous but when you're constantly having to bend down and pick it up then he's awake again it's just so frustrating so this just attaches to his little clothes um, now these ones in particular I made myself um, but you can pick them up on Etsy, eBay you can even pick them up in supermarkets markets I've seen Nubi do one as well and um, I just like the little wooden design so yeah I made this one myself and it has multiple ones I think we have about seven kicking about just now um, and yeah this is actually obviously it's metal so his car seat is um, magnetic so it means that when he's in the car seat as well if it's not clipped onto him it can clip onto his little um, shoulder pads and he just I know where it is as well also in the middle of the night when you are half asleep and your eyes are shut I just have to feel about for the little chain and you know the dummy is attached to it. We went through a phase where we only had one when he was first born and he lost it. I don't know, still don't know where it is. And we went just with the dummies. And honestly, I think three nights in, I said to Ewan, I need time to make five different dummy clips now because we just couldn't find it during the night. I honestly don't know how they manage it, but it got fired across the room. Um, and yeah, you, you can't find it. It is a nightmare, especially when you're trying to get them to go back to sleep quickly. This has been the best thing ever and it's funny because if any of my friends are pregnant then they'll know they always get this gifted to them um, and it's usually one that I've made and it's for the reason that you probably wouldn't buy this um, but I highly recommend it and you are going to love me <laughs> when you start using it so yes this is an absolute must. So for my last part of this section of the video I'm going to dive into our little basket that we have. Um, so this sits on top of our um, changing table or chest of drawers um, and it's just got all my essentials in it and all the things that I need to, and sometimes need to grab very quickly. Um, so again I'm not going to go into the usuals that you'll know that you need to buy however some of the things I just want to show you that we never used with Isla that I did use with Rain and I wish I did actually use it. 
Number one is this Nose Frida Nasal Sucker. What a name. <laughs> Can we please change that? Because it is just horrific to say. But when I was pregnant with Isla, I thought, I can't, I just can't. I'm very, very, I'm not great with that kind of stuff. And everyone said, when it's your own, you, you won't care. And I was like, not a chance, I'm not doing that. But especially on in the early days, they do get like very nasally and very choked up. And you just want to help them because it's, they can't like sniff up or, or blow their nose as we usually would. Um, and yeah, sometimes you just need to clear their like their airways basically to help them sleep and breathe better. Um, and yeah, it's so true. You will literally do whatever needs done. Um, however, with Isla, I had, it was like a little bubble one and you just squeezed it. Um, it wasn't that great because it was really hard to kind of wash out. Um, but this time round, I thought I'm going to buy this because it's probably worth having. And yes, I have used it quite a lot. Um, not so much now, but certainly the newborn stage, I definitely do. Or definitely did, sorry. Um, this is it here. Um, and <laughs> it's really not that nice, I'm sorry. But literally all you do is this goes up to <laughs> the nose. I'm sorry, this is, it's the most disgusting thing ever, but it does work. Um, you put that up to their little nostril and then you basically suck through here. Um, but it doesn't come anywhere near your mouth trust me it doesn't it just it acts like a little hoover and it just gets rid of the blockage um, and yeah and then you just basically open the end this end here and then you just clean it out and that's it um, and it yeah it's really really good to have it's something that I would just recommend buying when we actually stayed away um, I had to go to the pharmacy because bless him he was so choked up um, and I just felt like I, I didn't, hadn't taken this with me and I really wished I'd had it. Um, I went to the pharmacy and they gave me these saline nasal spray, um, which again, I did have already. I think it must be in his little cupboard, but we have the Calpol one. Um, but this is the exact same. It's just saline water um, and you just spray it up the nostril and it just it just helps to bring everything down. Um, but between that and the nose Frida, then it's really, really helped me in the early days. So if you haven't already, definitely get this and definitely get this. So there's only two other things in this little basket that I really want to show you. And number one is this nappy rash cream. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I had Quite a tough time with Ren's little nappy rash blossom, and I had tried all the usual, so your Suda creams, all your little nappy rash creams and barrier creams, and I had tried it all. The Pantom is another one we had used, and I just felt this time round nothing was helping. Um, and I asked on Instagram, I put a little question box up and asked if anyone recommended everything, and this was about ninety percent of people came back to me straight away and said you need this cream. It's the best cream ever. So I went up to Boots and I got it and wow, honestly, this I, this blows everything else out of the water, this cream. Um, it's yellow in colour, it can stain, so you just need to be a little bit careful. Um, but you only need a little bit of it and overnight, Ren's Nappy Dash Cream went from being horrific to really not that bad and just needed another couple of days. It was almost gone overnight is what I'm trying to say and it was really really bad um so yeah and bless him he was screaming anytime I was trying to wipe his little bum I ended up just giving him a bath every time he had a dirty nappy um and yeah although he loved the bath it just wasn't ideal but it was the only way I could clean him without using a wipe because it was so so sore Whereas this, yeah, overnight, this really helped and it's one of those things that you just need to have. Um, it's only, I think this was three, three or four pounds from Boots. You must get it. This one in particular, you have to, have to get. It's amazing. And then the last thing that I highly recommend for newborns is gripe water. So I have had quite a tough time with both Isla and Rain and wind in early on. Um, and gripe water, I mean, this... This is Rain's bottle and I've not used it obviously in a few months but in the newborn stage we have used almost all of this bottle. With Isla I'd probably say we used maybe a quarter if that. We didn't really use a lot but it came in so handy with Rain and 
early on especially they always do get quite bad wind and it's something that they don't really know how to manage their little bodies don't know how to manage it yet so any help you can get obviously is amazing and um, we tried all the usual things like rubbing their tummy in a clockwise direction and you know pulling their legs in and out but sometimes they just needed a spoonful of this and I'm not kidding within five minutes Rain was totally settled back to sleep and sometimes all out a big burp um, or you know they get their wind out but sometimes it just totally settles them down and that's all you need so this is again a must have I did have it with Isla and I did have it with Rain but I used it so much more with Rain and I would just advise if you don't already to have it in your little basket so the very last thing that I just want to show you before I move on to things that I wish we did have um, is this little formula storage beer stacker container <laughs> um, we again if you're a first time mum the whole formula going out and dealing with bottles is a minefield and to this day I still don't really know what works best um, I did explain that I was breastfeeding and then I moved on to formula a formula fed Isla so I felt like I kind of had an idea of what we were doing when we were going out especially with bottles and what worked best for us was that we made the bottle up with boiling water so obviously more so when you get into a bit more of a routine but we would just if it was a seven ounce bottle we would just fill the full seven or eight ounces of water up with boiling water and it meant that in the kind of two hours that we were out um Isla or Ren would have been fed before we left and then the two to three hours that they would be expecting their next feed the bottle was then at perfect temperature and it always worked for us I would say more so with Ren because we kind of knew what to expect and we knew what we were doing with Isla it didn't always work like that and sometimes I would be out trying to scramble to get a bottle out of my bag formula in get boiling water try and cool it down all whilst Isla was screaming for some food so um yeah it's something that you just you just have to find out what works best for you but I would always prepare my formula before I went out regardless this is still in my changing bag um, and each compartment has we're we're currently on seven ounces so I just put seven ounces in each um, and I know that there's seven ounces in there and I just need to put it into a bottle and sort it out on my own um, so whether you use this or you can use the little Tommy Tippy ones if you're using Tommy Tippy bottles then some of the the bigger packs already have them and um, they're actually in the bottle itself but they're just little miniature ones and you can fill that up you can also get a container from Asda it's just two pound and it's got all little sections in it it's a circular one um, but I like this one it's a bear I got this from Ally Express um, I'll show you here and it took maybe four five weeks to come but I just love the colours you get a purple one as well and I now use it for rain snacks so the top one is the formula one for us um, and yeah you can see you've just got this little bit here but the rest are little snack compartments um, and I'll just fill that up with various snacks for when we are out um, and yeah it's just great for having in your changing bag but certainly in the newborn days I use this purely for formula so yes again one that I would highly recommend now whilst I finish this section this leads me very nicely onto the things I wish that we had had so I feel like this is really important especially being a mum now of two and um, these are things I just feel that yeah I wish we had it would have made life a little bit easier and I would like to share them with you so number one um, goes hand in hand with the bottle making when you're out and usually like I say usually we are on point and we know what we're doing but for those days that you, that you aren't and it does happen it happens to all mums no matter how many kids you have you can be caught short and you've maybe not made the bottle properly or you have to dispose of it but for whatever reason you have to make a new bottle it can be really hard especially when your little one is so hungry so I then seen this bottle cooler um, and I actually was at soft play just last week and I seen a mum with it and I told her how amazing it was um, and she totally agreed and she said it's the best thing that she ever bought um, and it just brings a bottle to the perfect temperature within minutes I mean what more could a mother want um, and I really thought to myself if we are to have a third then I would 100% that would be one of the first things I buy um, it just helps it just helps <laughs> end of and I, I wish that we had it now next up we used our 
swing seat. Um, this was actually Isla's one. I will put a video up here. This is Isla's one. Um, however, we also used this one with rain. It cost a lot of money and we were gifted it from my mother-in-law, I'm sure. Um, and it's a great seat. It swings both sideways, back and forward. It's got a little vibration bit under it and it has lots of different songs. You can also set a timer on it so that it swings for 30, 40 or 60 minutes. Um, and it is really, really fab. And whilst I do highly recommend it, it's very big and it's very bulky. So our living room is, it's not the most spacious and I found that the amount of times that Ren was in this, um, for us, it was just more of a, a, a space invader. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word. Um, but it took up a lot of room and I couldn't move it with me. So if I was going into the kitchen to cook, for example, I couldn't I couldn't just pull it along and put it in the kitchen where, where I was cooking. If I was going upstairs, I could not take it upstairs. Um, and I wish we had, maybe along with, because I wouldn't not recommend this, I think it's really good to have, and Ren, Isla used this more so than Ren did because I think she really enjoyed the swinging sensation. Um, she was in it a lot. Ren is a lot more nosier and he needs silence, darkness and in his room with his little white noise. So each baby is different and I would say with Isla it was the best thing ever. She, we used it so much. Um, obviously with Ren not as much so it makes me feel like it was just more in the way all the time. And I wish we had one of the little rockers that you use your foot basically to rock. Um, and it's mobile, you can just carry them into the kitchen and they can watch you. Um, and you can see them and I just feel like it would have probably been a lot easier for me especially with my second um, they're not expensive whatsoever so that's why I'm saying it might be worth if you do have quite a roomy living room or space for the big, bigger swing seat then I would absolutely get both um, but yeah it's something that I wish we had um, and I just think it would have been a lot easier just for when I'm doing things on the go to have them with me and even carrying it upstairs um, and again, if you're sitting and, I don't know, doing something on your laptop or catching up on other things, you can obviously use it for your foot as well and they can see you. And then I think they learn to kind of do it themselves as well. So, yeah, that's something that personally I wish that we had and I would recommend getting. Now, the next one is a car seat. And this is a tough one because I think majority of car seats do detach from their base. But unfortunately, this one that we have doesn't. And... It's a tough one because we were gifted this, which I am so grateful for. This car seat is amazing. It covers everything that you would want to keep your baby safe in the back. It's very snug and I feel very confident driving knowing that Ren is very safe in his car seat. Um, it's a 360. It's a very, very good seat. I just wish that it detached. Um, and again, more so in the newborn days when he slept a lot. I was doing nursery runs. It just meant I had to take Ren in and out of the car. Um, actually out his car seat and carry him or pop him in the pram. Um, and just would have been so much easier if I could just detach him and keep him in his car seat and, you know, run and do your errands that are it's all the short things that take two minutes to do that are just cause such an upheaval, um, especially if he is sleeping. Now, I'm probably noticing this a lot more now as well because nap times are getting smaller. Um, he doesn't he doesn't now nap, you know, every 20 minutes. He naps twice a day, you know, albeit it is for a good hour, sometimes two hours. Um, but that is time when you just do not disturb and you just let them sleep. And obviously, if we're in the car and he's sleeping, I have to wake him up to take him out. So I suppose this is more of a just do your research with your car seats. I do think majority of them do detach, but for us, this car seat ticks all our boxes, but it just doesn't tick the taking them in and out and now at the time I thought oh, that won't be that bad because I have his pram but like I say especially if you're a mum of two and you're doing the nursery runs and you're running about doing little jobs it, it's been a bit of an inconvenience and yeah it's I hate I'm not you know bad mouthing the brand by any means because they're a great brand and the car seat is amazing but I just wish that we knew more about it before accepting it because I probably would have said no and I'd rather had one that detaches. So just make sure you do your research on that. 
Now, the next one I am so annoyed at because I actually was asked to collaborate with this brand on Instagram and I rejected. I didn't think it would be something that we would use and oh my goodness, I was so wrong. My friend has this shusher um, it's from, a brand, from a brand called Rocket and they do different styles and um, different kind of items. Um, the one that we were offered was the, it was a seat rocker um, and it basically just caused the pram to move back and forward and a, a, a sensation that babies like and it helps them fall asleep um, however my friend had the shusher um, I don't know I'll get the correct term for it I'll show you a little picture just here um, and basically it's white noise but it's it's a woman's voice almost going shh 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 sh and wow it's just amazing I was at my friend's for lunch could not get rain down to sleep gave him the shusher and I just put it in the back of his pram um, and he was asleep within minutes um, and it just continued on so it was it's amazing such a great product and one that I absolutely wish that we had just had um, now albeit I could have just gone out and bought it but I really didn't think we would need it until I was at my friend's and then I heard it and I thought that is the most amazing thing ever um, it's something I would rather use more in the early days Ren likes his white noise now um, and I feel like I've mastered it so it's something that I wouldn't use now but certainly in the newborn stage I think it is a great product to have and one I wish that we had thought about and then my very very last one um, is actually a double pram now my little girl Isla is three and Ren is currently nine months um, however when he was born and having the big pram was great but I feel like my life would have been so much easier if I had just given in and got a double pram. Um, Isla, she's never really been in a pram from, I'd probably say, like, two. Um, Isla's just wanted to walk or be on her scooter or we've got a little buggy board, which I do highly recommend. Um, I will link this here because I get so many questions asked about it on Instagram. We got it for £20 and I know some of them are, like, £70. No, this one has been great and it just it's good for just little journeys here and there. Um, especially when Isla gets tired she is only three she's not got you know long legs and she gets bored after like five minutes so I it's good she can just hop on there and we can just scoot along um, however for longer journeys and just going to the shops for example or spending a day in the city it'd just be really good if we had the double pram and then if Isla's getting tired she can get her tablet out she can sit in the pram and you've got the two of them together this just doesn't happen and I feel like I'm now at the stage we are she's three and a half she's too big for the pram so I'm just kind of having to go with it but especially in the earlier days I just would have done so much more if I'd had the double pram so I suppose what I'm saying is don't be influenced by other people that are saying no they're too old for a pram or you know you she's walking now you don't need a pram you do you do <laughs> if you're a mum of two and you've got things to do if you're a little one sitting in a seat for half an hour, it's, you know, it's not doing absolutely anything to them. They're quite happy, you're happy, and if anything gives you an easy life as a mum, then you need to take it. <laughs> you need to take it, whatever it is. So, yeah, I would just say, depending on your little one's age, um, if they are three or just under three, get the double pram, just get it have an easy life and you can always resell it later on so yeah um, if we weren't going to Australia I honestly think I would have bought a second hand pram probably a couple of months ago I would have just said I'm buying it it's going to make my life easier but yeah here we are we're currently trying to get rid of Rain's current pram so that I can buy a new one whilst we're over there more of a stroller type um, and Isla's doing great on her scooter on her bike and then whilst we're in Australia it's she's going to be out and about loads and on her little scooter she's not going to want to sit in a pram I know that for a fact so here we are but yeah certainly if you are like me and so Isla was two and a half when I had Ren get the pram honestly get the double pram the best thing you could ever do and it will just save you many tantrums as a mother <laughs> and just help you so much so yes that is my absolute thing that I wish we had so that brings me to the end of my video I really hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed doing it and I really hope that it helps people I think there's so many things that you can buy and there are so many amazing products out there some of them I haven't probably even mentioned and I know I'm going to go away from this video and go I wish I'd said that so if you feel that there's something I have totally forgotten about then please comment below and let other people know about them too like I have said before this is not really a video with the 
the main essentials because we all know the, the basics that you do need um, or should have anyway but this is just more the other things that I think would be really helpful to know and hopefully yeah hopefully they've done that and just helped people um, I would really love to know so just please comment below and let me know what you're thinking and I of course would love if you would subscribe and I will see you all in my next video.